loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today, like the title said, we are making a light up welcome sign. I am here in Michigan in the United States and I know all of us all around the world have been dealing with this horrible virus and so we were at stay at home orders for the longest but now since most of the states are opening up some and we are allowed to have more people gather and come over to our homes, I thought it would be really nice to do a welcome sign. So I have this circular sign from Dollar Tree and we're going to be utilizing the back of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the back of it and I have several colors here. We're going to be using some white chalk paint from Waverly. This came from Walmart. I also have elephant and I also have mineral and then I have some black chalk paint from the Dollar Tree. This is in the new Crafter Square section. And you can use any kind of paint that you want. You can use acrylics if you like. I just have these on hand right now. I may pull out some other ones depending what it looks like when we start to put it together. Now, what I wanna do is I have some painter's tape here. I have really wide painter's tape, so I cut them in half, some pieces already. And I wanna tape off a couple of areas on here and paint them with some of the mineral and the elephant I think maybe mixed in with a little bit of the white. I want to try to make part of this look a little bit like wood grain and I want to try to make my lines really straight. Now I'm going to take a little brown acrylic paint and I'm going to do the same thing, put a few streaks in it. Next I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to go back into the elephant. I'm going to take some of this elephant color and I'm going to make like some really light wispy half circles so it looks like knots in the wood. Okay, while the white is drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint this welcome sign white as well.
here is what it looks like all painted. I'm absolutely in love with how the wood grain came out on this. Now the top's not my exact favorite. I didn't even work on that that hard because then I realized I'm going to put some florals up here, some greenery and a bow. So you probably won't even see that at all. But I really concentrated on the bottom here where it is really nice. And I think that wood grain turned out perfectly. So I painted the welcome sign here that came from Dollar Tree to put on here but before we do that uh, it's not quite dry because I put a second coat on it we're gonna flip this over and on the back of it in the middle we are going to add some Jenga blocks why are we doing this because we need this to stand away from the wall just a little bit and let me show you what we're going to do all right, I have these fairy lights and these came from Big Lots. I got them on clearance last year sometime. However, Dollar Tree sells fairy lights. They also have garden lights that aren't a thicker cord. You're not gonna see the cord or anything when we're done with this. So any lights that you wanna put on it, it will work out. We're gonna take some Jenga blocks and we're gonna glue them together. And then once we have them glued together, we're gonna glue them to the bottom of this. And I'm going to stack two of them here across like this. One up the side, then two more on the top. And make a little box for our battery pack to go in. And we're gonna make sure that the battery pack is face up so you can get to the on off switch and we're going to leave this section open all together so you can take it out and then turn around and switch out your batteries if you need to. Once we do that, then I'm going to take and run this wire all the way around in a circle until it's completely on and I'm going to tape it down in sections with electrical tape. Now I'm not going to hot glue it because I don't know if the hot glue will mess up the wires and stop the light from working. So I'm just going to electrical tape it in different spots. I think that'll be the easiest way so that the whole back of it lights up really well. And then when you turn it over, that light will shine out. Then we will put our welcome sign on and decorate the top and we will be done. to make sure it would hang on the wall and I did not like how it was hanging on the piece of twine that was there so I took that off and I also added two Jenga blocks one at the bottom and one at the top to make sure that it kind of balanced out its weight for one thing and it set aside from the wall at the same height as this. Now you are going to have on your battery pack you're on an off switch minus on the top so it sets it off a little bit different lots of them are on the side so you won't really have to worry about that so now we're going to turn it over and we are going to put our welcome sign on and decorate the top and then I think I'm going to hang it from a little bit of fishing wire or a ribbon I'm not sure what you're not gonna see it because it's going to have decoration on what it's gonna hang from so you can hang it from anything you like you can use more twine if yours hangs right with the twine that came with it it was really short so that's why I took it off now, we have our welcome sign on we are going to be taking some foliage and I have this from Dollar Tree. I don't know what it was called, 
but I've had it in my stash for a little while. So I'm gonna break off a couple of these. I also have some leftover pieces from some lamb's wool that I got from Walmart quite a while ago. I have this in my stash, so I'm gonna use some of that as well. And then I have some ribbons and I am going to make a classic lacy space bow. Now the burlap is from Dollar Tree. The red, I wanted to put a little bit of pop color in there. I'm not going to use a lot of it. I think that came from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And then this buffalo check came from Joann's on clearance as well. Okay, so here is what my bow looks like, and I know you guys are gonna say, uh, you didn't show how you made the whole thing. This is my typical uh, signature Lacy Space bow, and I am going to be placing it right here in the middle, and it takes a while to fluff it like I like it. I, it's kind of like a chaotic, happy mess, I normally say, and so you can make any kind of bow that you like. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and Blew it down and then we're going to be all done. project and can you say love because I can say love I love this so so very much it is one of my favorite DIYs I have done in a little while I love how the light comes out from the wall and this looks like it doesn't come out very far but it's because it is the sun is beaming in all of my windows so this is the darkest spot that I could find to show you guys what it looks like I will be filming it when it the sun goes down so you can see exactly how far the light actually spreads across the wall. I really love how it has this soft kind of illumination. You could also do white bright light coming out but with my house I have a lot of warm tones and not a lot of cool tones so I thought the yellow coming off of this kind of creamy beige wall looked the best. The hardest part of this is actually just waiting for the paint to dry when you tape off everything and I do realize I covered up the top portion of most of the paint with the white stripe and the wood grain however I didn't realize I was gonna put this big of a bow on it but you guys know I'm extra everything I do here is extra so it got a little bit out of control with my lacy space signature bow I also added one of the little butterflies because I can't get away from butterflies they are my favorite and so I put that over on that side I made sure I moved my welcome sign over just a hair so I have enough room for one of those so that is it comment down below do you want to see me do another light up thing because I have another idea for something that I think is really really cool give this video a thumbs up if you like to see that 
I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, and always sharing my videos. And if you are not a member here at Lacey Space, I don't know why not. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button, become a member, hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here. We make a lot of cool things like this here. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space. It's the same way that it's spelled here. And I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye, loves.